before the experience at uh, Nvidia, you had worked at Qualcomm. You know, now you're at Magic, so you worked at uh, Qualcomm, AMD, Nvidia. You've also had stints at Google and Meta. Uh, how did each of these experiences uh, shape your perspective uh, on building uh, GPU and AI solutions today? All of these experiences have like an important role to play in uh, shaping up my thinking and meeting these people on the way. So Qualcomm was my first job out of uh, my bachelor's and then I was doing uh, programming in assembly like there, there was their QDSP 6 and 7 chips and then they will give us the instruction manual, no compiler, no nothing and uh, you, this is the instruction, these are their weight cycles, this is uh, their register, this will figure all of that out through that manual and then by hand <laughs> optimize uh, we will have C or C++ code for like um, audio decoders and encoders <laughs> and uh, C will be our reference and we will write the assembly <laughs> by hand. So in some uh, ways you were like a human compiler. Yeah, I right? was uh, I was the human compiler. <laughs> so you had C level reference implementations and yes. then you, you, yes. you took that and converted that to assembly. Yes, so we were doing that. I think our code was going into um, RIM and Blackberries and all these phones to 2008 and then I think that led to the segue, then iPhone came along during that time and I had no intention to move to the US and I looked at that and then Qualcomm and then UC San Diego and then <laughs> I said, uh, okay, <laughs> I wanted to learn more and then how the masters and the PhD journey began. <laughs>